Mr. Pickett, you claim that when your son turned three, the defendant, your wife, admitted to you that you may not be his biological father. You have petitioned the court for a paternity test seeking a definitive answer today with hopes that your son is biologically yours. That's correct, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Pickett, you admit to stepping out on your husband and cheating around the time that you conceived your son, Patrick. However, you claim that you are not the only one to blame. You say Mr. Pickett has cheated on you with at least eight women you know of. You hope that when today's DNA test results are revealed, you and Mr. Pickett can repair your marriage and save your family. Now, let the court clarify, you two are separated right now. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, so Mr. Pickett, why are you so sure you are not Patrick's father? I took an extended vacation, let's call it, right? And during that vacation, you know, we had separated. So, when I get back from the vacation, I go to, like, different houses that she's at, and periodically I see this same dude at the different houses. So I'm like, okay, it's nothing. We're separated. Later on, she tells me she's pregnant. I'm like, okay. Now, I seen this guy here, so I don't know if that's mine or not. So I asked my son, I said, who is that guy over there that bees at the house with your, with your mom? She, and my son, he's like five years old, little, little kid. He says, I think that's my mom's boyfriend. I'm like, ah, oh, for real? So I ask her, she denies it. Now, I hate these extended vacations, Your Honor. I took another one, mind Can't you. Can't stand them. Can't stand them. <laughs> now, this extended vacation wound me up, ironically, with a friend of mine who was at my house before I had got out of the extended vacation the last time. So he said they was at the house kicking in laid back. I was like, for real? Are you serious? He said, oh, okay, well, we was at the house and I used to go over for her friend and her friend admitted that he wasn't there for her, even though they claimed that was her brother. Wait, no, I don't feel you. Back it up. I'm gonna back it up. Say it again. Her friend was dating my friend. He told me that the other guy that was there was for Shanae. So... So it was one of those type things. It was one of those type of things. Now, this extended vacation is over. I'm back. I'm back again. I'm playing daddy. I have no problem with playing daddy. I love my kids. That's okay. why I'm here today. Okay. I love these little guys. Let's just speed it up a little, just a little bit. I say, let's mend it together. We cool. You're my friend. You're my lover. You're my wife. These are our kids. We already did this. I done wrong, you done wrong. Infidelity is all around the world, so we're not upset about that. Let's mend it's ourselves. It's all around the world. It's all around the world. <laughs> all right. We back together. Everything cool. I got a job. She has a job. I have a car. So after taking a separation, you bring it back together. You want to make this family work. I want to make it work, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, so everything's good. We back together. Now, in the back of my mind, I wish I could blow this little thought out. So I'm, you're back together. We back. We back. It's cool. Swimming pools on the side of the house. Everything, everything's good. Okay. So I ask her. She denies. I ask her. She denies. I'm what like, do you oh, ask her? I'm asking her, is these my kids? Is this my son? Have you been cheating? You know, I, I love you. I quit cheating. And you can ask the girls. They be like, man, I, I'm going home. I'm going they home. They were in an uproar. They, they mad right now on Facebook. All that. I hate you. Woo, all that. Because you gave it all up. Because I said I quit. You wanted to be with your wife. I want to be with my wife. This so is what I started with. So you ask her, are these children mine? So I can play the role of that I'm in. I'm right now, Your Honor, I'm like a 75% daddy. But I want to be a 100% man, and I'm lacking that, Your Honor, just based on the fact... Your doubt. That doubt. Now, Ms. Pickett, what do you have to say about all of this? Does he have reason to have doubt? Just based on what I told him, Yes, he does have a reason, but I did wait three years later to tell him, but I let him know, you know, I stepped out and did something I shouldn't have done before he got before back from I the Before I got from the extended vacation, vacation Your Honor. It, 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 it I, happened I, I three weeks for before. Three weeks before, Your Honor, I got back from my vacation. She was messing with this dude. I said, okay, I'm gone. Then my son is born three weeks early. So I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. There's no way this makes sense. If three weeks before... Okay, but after you have so many kids, after you have so many children, 
you are liable to have your children early, especially if you're walking and taking your kids to school every day, walking and carrying groceries and doing and the things that you're supposed that, to do. And regardless of that, I mean, Mr. Pickett, you understand I that use, children are born protection. early I ask, all I, the time. But okay. I will I give you protection. this. Okay. The three weeks. Yes. Would have been in my mind too. It would have been. It's, it's eat, it, it is eating me up, and I'm not upset about it. It's like it's it, it's it's caused because of me. I took all the blame. They said, if you're a real man, you will take the blame of your family being in any kind of disaster or anything like that. So, let me recap your doubts. She admitted to an affair, number one. Right. While you were gone, you had no idea what she was doing. You know there might have been something I going knew, on. Your Honor, and then she admitted I to it. I called on that phone. And, and mind you, when you're on that phone, everything, you just wait, be quiet, because you're on the phone. Hello? What y'all doing at the house? Uh, who is that in the background? That's what you do on those extended vacations, because you don't know what's going on. So you got your spidey sense up. <laughs> right, 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 I get it. And so every little thing that seemed off balance, that fueled your fire. Yes, it did. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. She admitted to you she made a mistake. When she admitted it, I said, this is, this is the first thing I said, Jerron, I said, after all this time, this is my exact... you did it? I did just like this. And I was in short pants, because we were supposed to go swimming, and I just lost the whole swimming mode. I was like... <sighs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then I was That's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. And then that was like, I walked outside. <laughs> I, I, Mr. Pickett, did you do that? I did all of that. Yeah. That we can take as a fact, because she <laughs> said she agrees that you yeah. did all of that. So, but you had your outburst, and then you said what? I said, look, it's all good. It's all, it's all good. That's what I said. Because in your mind, what you were saying is, you tell I, me. as a man, I didn't set the example. Right. I went away on vacation. I let my family down. I left you out here. Right. You made some mistakes, so in the end, I'm going to forgive you. Yes. That's what you were saying to yes. her. It's, it's over. I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to let it go, and we're going to try to put this marriage back together. Based on the fact that I want to be this little dude's... His, son, his father, his, his son. Because when I'm old and I need him, he'll be there for me. You know what right. I mean? I, I, I had him doing that. Everything, <laughs> baseball, I had him doing all that That's stuff. That's good! So the results of today's test are crucial for you. Yes. You love him and you're hoping yes. that he's your child. Because it's just like, I, this is my dude. Like, if you see me with him, you'd be like, oh, that boy loves his kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> he loves his kids. I can tell you do. <laughs> I can tell you do. Now, Miss Pickett, how does it make you feel to hear your husband speak this way about Patrick and yet have to deal with the fact that there's some doubt? It hurts me because I am an honest woman. Even though it took so long to let him know what happened, I still told him, and I didn't let this thing happen for so long. It only happened one time, and it didn't happen for a long time at all. And I we know it, and it only him, takes I'm married. one time it only to takes, make a baby. You're right. And you can it imagine how hurt he would be after establishing this type of relationship. That's why I stopped the man and I told him, this is not right and I don't want to do this. I, but, this is not but, right. Ms. Pickett, the fact that you waited three, three years, three years to tell him, that is a lot to your, handle. Your Honor, That's a lot of time to bond. The right. other thing, Your Honor, is this right here. When, after, the, after all of that, we even got back together after all of that. Please step up to the podium, ma'am. Ms. Carson. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. So, what do you have to add to this? Do you believe what Mr. Pickett is saying, that he's a forgiving man, he's made some mistakes? No. First of all, Brandon never forgave her for anything she'd done. He loves his kids dearly. He wants to be with them all the time. He has them now, but he's never forgiven her. He's never given her a chance for anything. Like, she can't work. She can't social with people. She can't do... She can't do nothing. You're he's, saying he's controlling. He's very controlling. He's very intimidating to her. That's why she's standing here quiet now. She can't come enjoy time with me. She can't be at my mom. She can't be nowhere without him wanting to know exactly what's going on. What's... Like, he's like... 
he just shuts her down every that, time. Sarana, right on every the head. Every time. I will take that right on the head. So you agree and with he that? he never forgave I, her I, for I what she did. He said he did, but he hasn't. He never forgave her. Because every day, they still she camp right. together. She right. She stays with them. Or no, she's, but so, are you still controlling no, her from afar? I don't control. I don't control a thing. I can. Does I, he control you, Miss Pickett? In a way, I still feel controlled. How? If you don't live with me, how? If my sons are she with me, because there. because uh, for one, I ask, can we? He just don't accept no for an answer. I ask, can we wait until after I have the baby? No. If you since you want to wait, that means you're hiding something. You got I something get it to out hide. Of the way. Honestly, Why I not did. just do it now, right now? Because now we got to come back and do the results for this one because clear, clearly he thinks this one's not his either. Then All let me four tell you about of that. these boys, he don't I'll think. I'll tell you about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're pregnant now. Are I give you? her the benefit of and doubt. No she was at the house. This is, to when I told you we had the swimming pool, we had the cars, we was working, I was there. I, I, Your Honor, I was there. There is a possibility. There's always a possibility for doubt, and there's always a possibility for it being for real. I laid down with this woman. I did. Passionate or however you want, I did all of that. Everything. But you do that with a lot of women. You don't, you do that, you bring all this in her face all the time. Coming. Are you still cheating with other women? Yes. There ain't no cheating. If you separate it, there's no cheating. So then she... Well, this is what I'm saying. When she let him... So, so this is what I'm hold saying. Hold on, but you both I told are her. saying that you hope to save the marriage, so how does cheating or sleeping with other women, if you don't consider you, it cheating... If she not wanting to be with me... rebuild if, the marriage? If, 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 like you asked when you... Are you guys separated? Yes, we both said. So I, I don't want to be alone. Who does? If you're not... If we're not in agreement that we want to be lovers and friends and you want to let your sister is talking more than you control your life, then I have to find somebody else that's going to love me and my children because I'm here for love so of family. So, she's speaking up for me means... Wait. Wait a minute. ...means that you can't control your own issues. It's not me controlling you. Ms. It's Pickett, your family controlling I, if you really want to get on it. You want this marriage to work. Me. No, I've been wanting a divorce. I said, when I try... So... That's what you got. You're not willing to try necessarily no. anymore. I'm fed up. I'm tired of everything. What all are the you... arguing, all the accusing. I mean, I I did be honest and tell him. I told him a little too late, but I still told him. And it's it's ne like he said, it's some, it's gonna always be in the back of your mind. So and the child I don't you carry continue now. To do you believe it is Mr. Pickett's child? Yes. I made that one mistake out of all these 12 years we've been together. This is I all made we know. one this is all mistake. I know. This is all we this know. Is all, this is what we he don't know says all the else. time. All and he that knows one is mistake off of what I say. is why we're here That's what today. I'm why are we together to if you're not going to trust me? Whether or not Mr. Pickett is Patrick's father. Right. Let me ask you this Are you saying that you want this to work? I love my wife, I love this woman. I've but done wrong. I, I really her. love her, but though. Like, it's dudes her. that be like, I love you, I love you. I, I, I know I cheated. I really love her, like, rings and everything. I'm a, oh, we don't got no money? Oh, then I'm going to go to work today. I, I apologize that we don't have no money. Oh, you, you done this? It's going to be bad. I'm mad. I'm yelling. I'm cussing. But they do know you all realize that. why she's hurt? Do I you understand, understand that. that? Your Honor, he wanted like to let you, her I mean, and, and trust me, I understand that when there's a child involved that you spend time with, you keep saying these thoughts in the back of your mind, these thoughts okay. in the back of your mind. Can you imagine that she also has thoughts in the back of her I, mind? She got more than me. She got vision. So my thing is this. How much trust and how much can you just say, forget it, it's over? Because if this kid... That's, like, the worst. Like, oh, my God, this is not your son. Or, or oh, my God, you know what I mean? They're going to be going crazy. All right, well, let me tell you what. Before you jump out of here, <laughs> let's hear the results. All right. I think it's time. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. 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 These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they are as follows. In the case of Pickett versus Pickett, when it comes to four-year-old Patrick, Mr. Pickett, you are 
car his spot. Oh, yeah. Well, I got some friends. Hold on. Oh, let's, let's see, let's straight up. Let's straight up. Okay. Now you were about to get tackled by Jerome. I seen it. You Don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. You know you need to do a flip. You, you, look, you look good. Well, I will say that's a first. We have officially now have had a father flip. Straight up. Because Jerome we tested all the kids. Jerome almost tackled him. <laughs> I don't, I don't. <laughs> Miss Pickett, let me tell you something. He has the four-year-old doing backflips now. Let me tell the you, I know you have a couple children, and I would say you have your hands full as a mother, but you got your hands full with him. I you're don't know what you're going to do with that. him. I look at your face as you look at him, and he is quite entertaining. I know before you said, I'm done with him and I just want a divorce, but I can't help but say there's a part of me that knows you do love him. Oh, yeah. I can see I that. Do. And he has professed his love for you. Yeah. Can you forgive and can you stick it out? Yes, I can. I can. You can. I can. He's got a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> but I think if there's anybody in this world that could help him do it, <clears throat> it would probably be you because we can tell he adores you. <laughs> I'm happy that you've decided to allow him the opportunity to show you he can be different. Remember, Mr. Pickett, when you let her down, mm. you let your kids down. Most definitely. Do you understand? Understood. Help him be the man he wants to become, because he wants he to be to that be. for your family. Ms. Martin, you admit to making a huge mistake around the time you conceived your daughter, Royal Blue. Yes, Your Honor. You claim that one moment of weakness will cost you your fiancé if you cannot prove today that he fathered your child. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Penner, you say you love Royal Blue and want her to be yours, but you already have one foot out the door and will leave Miss Martin if today's paternity results are negative. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Martin, talk to me about the status of your relationship right now. What's going on? Well, at this point, me and Romel have no relationship because of the paternity of our daughter. I made one mistake back in the past that he knew about, and he, now he's claiming that he knows nothing about it. The relationship is no, in turmoil. Yes, he completely moved out of the bedroom. Like, he lives in my living room. So, Mr. Penner, you have one step out the door. You've already moved out the bedroom. Yes, Your Honor. And next, you feel like it might be the home? Oh, yes. All together? Yes, Your Honor. Because of this mistake Ms. Martin made? Yes, Your Honor. It's, it's more about the lies, you know. She says that she let me know right away, but it was m a month later after she found out that she You're was lying. pregnant. No, that's true. You know, when you uh, feel like that there's no trust, why would I fake it and just, you know, be laying in a bed with somebody that's already lied to me and I'd be dishonest but, to the relationship? But you were laying you in were the before. You were dishonest with me no. in the beginning and you're dishonest with me now. The reason why I'm not sleeping in the bedroom is because I'm not sure if Royal is mine or not. We've talked about this mistake, Ms. Martin, and I think we need to understand exactly what was the mistake. Yeah, tell her about the mistake. I'm going to tell her about the mistake. At the point in time, Romel was doing him, as we say, partying, not coming home. I completely moved to Wisconsin with him. I even said, if, you know, if I come up here for you, I'm about you, we're gonna do our family thing. And when I got up there, it went totally left. That's he, not like, true, Your Honor. left me in the home by myself. That's It'd not be true. days at a time before I even saw Romel. Okay, fine. You, wanna, you don't wanna come home? You don't wanna be a part of it? I'm gonna do my own thing. So I continued to work. I got friends. I started hanging out and started having, like, parties and stuff. And then, he still, well, at that point, Romel's still MIA and never called, never, true. he completely moved out of our home in Wisconsin and moved in with his mom and left me there. Wait a minute, what was the mistake? That I had a party one night and I had sex with another person, which, Your Honor, I did the very next morning, I did confide in Romel. I told him the That's whole not true. truth. And That's he's acting like I never told him that. You never you did. You say she after. didn't tell you? No, she didn't tell me. I told him. No, after I did she not. told me that she Why was are you pregnant. Fronting like no, I'm that. telling you the truth. This is what happened, Your no. Honor. After she found out that lying. she was pregnant, a month later, she said, Well, no. I have something to tell you. Um, what? I had sex with somebody. Um, I had a party. And I woke up. Romel, I, really? I, I'm, I know I don't know if I had unprotected sex or not. And I don't Romeo, really? really know who the guy was. No. And I asked, I said, who do you have sex with, blank man? No. You know, because really? 
How do you not know who you slept with? That's just I to me. I told you it was drinking and everything. That's involved, irresponsible. But you're, that's but very you're still irresponsible putting on front as like a mother. I did not tell you. Mother, you I didn't told tell. you that the you very next day. No, you didn't. See, don't sit if you can't remember like who that, you don't. had Man, sex with. Hold on, hold on, Whatever. hold on. I want to understand this. So it's your testimony, Mr. Penner, that she didn't tell you the day after the party. She told you one month <laughs> after she was already pregnant. Exactly, Your Honor. Lying. How did She's she lying. tell you? What did she say? She said, well, I have something to tell you. She said, um, you know, I had to, you know, when I had that party, um, I woke up the next morning and I'm pretty sure I had sex, but I don't know who it is. Like I said, that's very <laughs> irresponsible. That, very. No. To this day, I don't even know the, the person's name. I didn't wait a month. I told you anything. the next day. I was honest from the jump. So, Ms. Martin, did you tell him the truth? No, she yes, didn't. Yes, Your Honor. The day after. The day what after. What did you say? I told him that. I said, Romeo, last night... I ended up having a party. I know we got heavily intoxicated. And I know as a woman, I know that I did something. I know I did something. Yes, you I'm, did. Not, I'm not going to withhold that information. I'm just not. I'm not going to lie about it. He said, well, I apologize for not being there. And I know I should have been there a little bit more. He was like, well, maybe he said, we'll just put this behind us and we can continue and go forward. And I'm like, OK. He agreed to move forward. That's not true, Your Honor. And I agree. you're lying. It's true that I agreed to move forward after finding out that you was so irresponsible oh, to have God. sex with somebody and not know who it is. But the point is, and I then, told you, you're acting like I waited later, a then, month later, and that is Honor, not the case. You Honor, are lying. Um, the, 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 the point of the fact is she tells me that I'm not this sure so did I have sex with you before or after. I had, what are you after talking about? After I had sex with that guy. No, sir, we me? had sex two so, days after the fact that I told you no, that. No, you're lying. Are you're you? lying. You're lying. I know when it so, was. To so, me, I, I, I don't know if she's mine or not. But I'm not... T I, but I'm telling you the truth. I told you the truth then and I'm gonna tell That's you the ridiculous. truth now. How, I've never lied you? about anything. Why would I believe you? You're sitting here saying that you told me this right after with... Which I know you never did. You told morning, me a month I had to hunt him later. down. I called his mother where he claimed he was staying and... I haven't seen Romeo in a few days, so I had she had to track him down for me. That's not I, true, Your Honor. No, what? By the time we had our separation, I wasn't doing all the things that she was doing. You I still was taking care of, of that household. Of that it. still, to me, was my house. Full I had of. came there. A, a you time wasn't living in your house. It was out. your house. I put everybody out. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I know there was a strain in the relationship. I can tell that. That's why you at the party. But what I'm trying to understand now is we have this paternity question, and it's because. Mr. Penner, you don't know for certain if you are Royal Blue's biological father. No, I don't. Because of this particular incident. And when you think of the window of conception, does this incident fall near that window? Yes. Yes, ma'am, it does. I had, literally, I had sex with Romeo probably two days after the fact that I told him that, and it all falls in about the same time. How soon after that was Royal Blue born? She was born June 19th of 2015. So the, I found out Maybe conception day was about October the 15th. That's what the doctor had gave me, which I told him I've shared every information. And he's acting like I've never... Like, none of this did. ever... Like, I've never Wait told him. So, month. if the Wait, doctor told you the conception date was October 15th, what date was the party? Like, the... 13th, maybe? Is it this paternity secret that started this? Or you no. all were already unraveling? We was already unraveling. So then the paternity secret comes in and then that just destroys the rest of Knock, what was there. Knock takes the rest of it down because when I moved to Wisconsin with him, prior to me even moving, Romeo wasn't this way. He hasn't always been... Like, he was coming home, but then when we get up there when I have no family, I have no friends, I don't know anybody. Nobody. So I'm like, you know, I'm dependent on him. So when you start leaving me at home by myself, and it, not for true. days, oh. he's with a woman. It's common sense. Your like, Honor, I can tell you where it started at. <laughs> After she had our oldest daughter, she changed completely. I guess she felt like she missed something. She started to go out partying, kicking wait, it, what? Uh, in clubs. She met her some You're friends. Not turn started around going on me. here and there, You're not, and I wasn't going to have person. that. We got I'm a child. You leaving me here with a child? I work and go to work and try to take care of my family and provide. You for are family. turning this True. whole thing around. I did. Around I have made me. my this mistakes. Your... Excuse me. You're I, not. I have had made you're my not. mistakes. Because you're lying. I made my mistakes. Not mistake, gonna embarrass me like that. But no. At the same point in time, we were supposed to work with it. Your Honor, I gave you. I said, let me get. Let me. I'm gonna give you your space then to see, you know, where your head at. And instead of me, you know, instead of her just, okay, let's, as a grown person, either just leaving me alone, going back home, and just saying, forget the whole relationship, that, she started to you, try to embarrass me. Your Honor, that's you know, what I said. Listen, listen, me. listen, listen. I already know what's going on here. I mean, it, it, this is easy. She moves to a different state, following behind you. When she gets there, you still out and about doing things. 
Then she get mad and get upset and decide, you know what, now I'm gonna try to go tit for tat. He out partying, he out hanging out, he don't wanna come home, I'll start partying. We hear this too much. And that's the thing I tell women all the time. We lose the tit for tat every time because you lose your senses and you do something stupid and you get pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Right? You, you're gonna try to drink yourself out of your misery and then up the ante on the misery. And I know you're resentful because men usually can't take what they dish out. That's, that's just the way, that's just the way we're wired. No, I'm just being very honest. I've, we've worked with too many relationships to know. We see women that can try to forgive men after indiscretions, but there are very few men that can honestly be told, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, I cheated on you, I did this, I did something wrong. Honey, they can't handle that. <laughs> Just wired differently. <laughs> and then put a paternity secret on top of that? Ooh. Now we're in trouble. During the pregnancy now, are you participating? Are you going to the doctor's appointment? Yes, yes I am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, because am. at that point, you realize she could potentially be mine. Yes, ma'am. He yes, participated for about three or four months. That's not true, Your Honor. And that was it. That's not true, Your Honor. He went to doctor's I was, I bought, appointments I with me, Your Honor. Yes, I did. Until I decided one morning, I woke up because he didn't come home. I packed everything I owned in that house and I went home. And it took him 24 hours to even realize I was gone. It took all I had to pack up my daughter, me being pregnant, and all my clothes to go home to leave this man. And it you think that I'm supposed I to believe her after you I didn't just tell wake up one morning on a good No, I'm gonna leave Romeo today. No, to tell it took me. all I had. She didn't have the audacity or the care to tell me. Yeah, I'm leaving. I beg you, See, please. the thing about it is, no, yeah, man. I know I did oh, wrong. I, don't I know I did wrong. I but I don't have no illegitimate no. kids around here. It don't matter. You know, I beg you. It took him a whole... Listen, listen, listen. Let's not label the baby. Please don't. Let's not label the baby because she's innocent. Of course. Of course. Let's not label her. Because the only thing illegitimate here is the way you all have operated in this relationship. True. And that's true. Yes, ma'am. And that's, that's why Royal Blue is in the position at 22 months old, this beautiful little girl doesn't truly know who her father is. Because you question that. Yeah, I question that. But I don't never treat her any different. I treat her I'm the glad. same way as I do my oldest child. I just want to know. You know, so but I can this, move forward. But just if, don't play me be, in it, though. Don't act I like be, I didn't tell you I want to be a family. Don't do me like I wanna that. I want to be a family. I want to be around You want to be a children. family, but you're not trying. I'm steadily got my hand out reaching and trying, and you slapping But you down. lied to me. I did. And Whatever. You, you, you made me feel it. stupid. Keep playing it. And uh, to me, I said Whatever. that was irresponsible. How do you feel like she made you feel stupid? She started partying, going out, you know, and uh, being a different person. Wow. I was trying to move oh forward. God. I don't want a bunch of guys around my child. There wasn't a bunch you know? of guys. Why are you sitting there lying like that? I don't like want that. a bunch of guys. Well, you put on such whoever, a well, you, you probably don't even know who was at the party. You don't lost your mind. She probably don't know who, who she was around. If you, if you was being any type of man, you would have been at home. Yeah, I, Where you know, were you at? You know the reason why I wasn't Man, there? Please. You know the reason be why quiet. I wasn't there? Be is because I didn't want to, in turn, like you say, a grown protect. man gonna speak up. So I, you I, was playing games. I had to give you Please. a chance to breathe. You talk to, one at a time. Yes, I gave her a chance to breathe, like I said, to find out what she wanted to do. I didn't go around having a bunch of different you, women. I came and checked on the household every day. Your Honor. Your Honor. Every day. If I didn't love Romel, and I, I would have never quit my job, left my apartment, left my family to follow him. I've been serious from day one. I've been begging him while he's been playing the disappear game. At this point, I'm tired. You were you... everywhere. You was no, bouncing I was from not. here to there. You... Everywhere. And so now this relationship with definitely one child, but potentially two, is on the line. Yes, it is. Like I said, Ms. Martin, we never win this game of tit for tat. And I can see how hurt you are. Because I'm sure when you moved and followed him to Wisconsin, this is not what you had in your mind. No, ma'am. was not. And to be honest with you, Mr. Penner, I'm sure this is not why you asked her to come. No. This is not what you planned either. No, it, no, it wasn't. This is not what you all had in your minds. And I can see, Ms. Martin, you are not proud of what you did. This is not who you are. Even when a man is off doing his nonsense, don't let it throw you off your game, yes, who you no. are. Because at the end of the day, you are Royal Blue's mother. And I know you feel responsible. Yes, ma'am, every bit of it. And so a lot of times when you are shouting and arguing, arguing back and forth, you're just taking shots at one another. And it, it feels like to me you're just 
projecting a lot of the anger you have for yourselves yeah. is, uh, against one another. Instead of just honestly looking and saying, I blew this one. At this point, what I want to know is, Mr. Penner, you say your bag is packed. Yes, Your Honor. It is. And you ready? You got one foot out the door. Yes, Your Honor. If Royal Blue is your biological daughter, can you unpack that bag? Yes, that's what I, exactly what I want to do. I'm a straight shooter in here now. When you unpack that bag, you have to unpack it with an intention to let go of the baggage of the past. Yes, sure. Now, you just can't unpack the bag and then on a random Wednesday just decide you're gonna get mad again because she had that party. I understand what you're saying, Your Honor. Or we'll be back here again. Yes, Your Honor. I understand that. Miss Martin, before I go to the results, is there anything you'd like to say? Just that I've been paying for my mistakes and I, if I could go back and redo it all, I would. Wholeheartedly, I would. I'm, I apologize. But I want them together because I want my family back. I want all of it back. Let's get the results. Okay. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Martin versus Pinner, when it comes to 22-month-old Royal Blue, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Pinner, you are the father. Ooh. Thank God. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. It's I'm over. Sorry. I'm so it sorry. It's finally over. I'm so sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I've... I'm so sorry. This has been so hard. I'm sorry. This has been so hard. I apologize. Ooh. It's been hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just Can I give her a hug, forward. Your Honor? Absolutely, if it's okay. Yes, ma'am. It's all right. I love you. Love you. Can I move my stuff back in the room now? I guess so. <laughs> you tired of sleeping on that couch, Oh, yeah, it's right? hard. My back hurt. Back hurt. <laughs> Hold it. Jerome and I, we need these days. I'm glad this is the result I was hoping <sighs> for. Me too. Because at the end of the day, you have one child together, and now Royal Blue knows that this is her daddy, and you all can hopefully begin to put not just that night but the state of the relationship in general in the past. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and that means that you both gonna have to change. You are the man of this family. You the woman of this family, the mother of this family. You all have to set examples for these beautiful children. Yes, Your Honor.